Holy shit, YouTube. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up what is undeniably the best Doom 3 VR experience to date. This version is touch compatible, has added blood and brains, has added high definition lighting and textures, has seamless menus you can actually touch, supports room scale and seated experiences, runs via Oculus Home without Steam VR, and scares the absolute fucking motherfucking sh** out of you consistently. So if you like raining hellfire with a double barrel pump action combat shotgun and a fistful of satisfaction, then saddle up because we are going in raw. So stay locked, crush that like button, enjoy, and I hope it helps. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ, bringing you reviews, tutorials, and game clips, minus the shits. You can follow me on Twitter, at Facepalm, with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to bring the game face. Let's get it done. Before I start, I'd like to give a shout out to Samson for this mod and Wildside VR for compiling the HD texture pack. A link to the Oculus thread is in the description below. With that said, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have no previous Doom 3 mods installed on your PC, as these can conflict with the VR mods we're going to be using here. So if you have them, then delete them and let's start afresh. Once any previous mods are all cleared out, Download and install a fresh copy of the Doom 3 BFG edition from the Steam Store. This is the only version of Doom 3 that these VR mods will work with, and it goes on sale from time to time for around 6 bucks. But even at full price, it's a much more worthy purchase than a lot of the VR content out there right now. Now that we have Doom 3 BFG Edition installed, we want a high definition textures pack that will really make this game look good and more violently inclined. So in the description, there is a link where it says HD texture pack. Click on that and once that page is loaded, go ahead and click on the download through your browser button. If at any point this link becomes unavailable, hit me up in the comments section and I'll re-upload it or link you to an updated version. Then, once you have that zip file downloaded, extract it on out to your desktop. Now, head on over to the Steam Installs folder on your computer, which can be found by going to this PC on Windows 10, or my computer on Windows 7, opening the C drive, going Program Files x86, into the Steam folder, then Steam Apps, up to the common folder, and then opening up the Doom 3 BFG Edition folder. Now, copy this base folder from the HD Texture Pack folder we just downloaded over to this Doom 3 BFG Edition folder, making sure to overwrite any files when asked. Once that's all copied over, let's get the mod and script files to get this game running in VR. To do that, check the description below and click on the Oculus Native Mod and Script link. Again, if at any point this link becomes unavailable, let me know in the comments section and I'll re-upload it or link you to an updated version. So once the mod download page is open, scroll all the way down to the bottom where you'll see the Oculus Native Mod and Script links. Click on both of these and they will both download to your desktop. Then, once they have both finished downloading, extract them both out to your desktop. Now, copy the contents of this Oculus Native Mod folder over to the Doom 3 BFG Edition install folder, which again is located here in the Steam Apps common folder, making sure to overwrite any files when it asks you. Once that is done, open up this base folder and delete the script folder that you see in here. Then drag and drop the script folder we downloaded before over into this base folder. Now back on out to the Doom 3 BFG Edition install folder and create a shortcut of this Doom 3 BFG VR Oculus.exe and rename it to Doom 3 VR and then copy that out to your desktop. Now make sure Steam is not running by checking in the taskbar for the Steam icon. If it is there, just right click it and select exit. And when you're ready, you can double click this Doom 3 VR shortcut and it will drop us into the insanely gorgeous world of Doom 3 VR, where we can make a couple of final in-game tweaks. So once you are dropped into your character's body, 
press the button with the three lines on it on the left touch controller. This will bring up the in-game menu. And the first thing you'll notice here is that you can navigate any in-game menus by either using the touch controller's joysticks or by actually reaching out and touching the option you want to select. Pretty fucking neat, all right? And in these menus, we can enable or disable snap turning in-game. If you are prone to VR sickness, this feature can help alleviate that for you. Now to do that, go to settings, controls, key bindings, and then go on down to comfort turn left. Then either reach out and touch this option or press the trigger on the right touch controller. It will then ask you to pick which button you want mapped to this function. So press left on the analog stick on the right touch controller. Do the same for comfort turn right, but this time press right on the analog stick. Now back on out of that menu using the B button on the right touch controller, and you'll notice that when you use the right analog stick to look left and right, it will now have snap turning enabled. To disable this, Go back into the key bindings menu, then go on back down to where it says comfort turn left, select it, then when it asks you to bind the key again, press the key that is already listed here, which is left on the right analog stick. And it will remove this key binding, which means it is back to how it was before. And all the key bindings work in the same manner. The other thing we need to change can be done via the console. And you can hit the tilde key on your keyboard to bring that up. This console is where we can enter commands to change the way the game works. And you can look in the description below and where it says console commands, you can click that link to download a PDF that contains all the console commands available. Just make sure that when you are entering these console commands, pay attention to any capital letters in the commands as they won't work if you don't get the capital letters correct. So you may notice that by default, the game is set to move in whichever direction you are looking when you press forward on the right analog stick. Me personally, I don't really like this style of movement. And if you don't either, and you wanna use the touch controllers to turn, which I found much better, you can type VR underscore turning space one into the console. And this will set the touch controller joysticks to control turning in game. But if that is a bit much for you, typing VR underscore turning space zero into the console resets this back to default. Next, you'll notice that your character has a body and arms in this game, which I like. But if you don't, then you can type VR underscore player body mode space one. Again, paying attention to where the capital letters are in this command. And this will set the game to only show hands and weapons. Or you can use VR underscore player body mode space two to show just the weapons. Typing VR player body mode space zero resets this to the full body view. Also, you may want to either play this game seated or standing up. By default, the game is set to a standing room scale setup. But if you want to change to seated, then sit in your chair and press the Y button, which is on the left touch controller. This will reset your view to a seated one, though to crouch in game, you will still need to slide off your chair and crouch in real life. To reset to a standing setup, just stand up and hit that Y button again. And so now you should be moving through the world of Doom and VR with your big boy or girl pants on bringing peace, love, and over-the-top, psychotic, skull-crushing, spine-removing, cold-blooded, rampaging <clears throat> on Mars. So if you like this video, then crush that like button, ask any questions in the comments below, subscribe if you wanna, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching today's video. Just remember you can follow me on Twitter at Facepalm with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe. But don't forget to bring your game face. Facepalm out.